Welcome back, guys. So in the previous session, we created some materials using the Arnold preset. Now we want to build a proper shade and network with texture files plugged into it so we can get some cool looking objects. There are a couple of websites that I would highly recommend in this regard where you should go to find your texture files. Let me mosey on through and grab my browser. The first one is textures.com. You can create a free account here and every day you get 15 credits. As you can see, I've already used some of my credits. So I've got nine left for today and tomorrow it'll reset back to 15. Now, this place is amazing in the sense of the quality of the texture files that you get. And they also have other materials and file types that you'll be using later on in the rendering pipeline. So I'm going to go in here and just go clickety click browse library. Now, as you can see, it opens up on the latest textures that's been added to their catalog. As you can see, this one goes up to 8k. If I open this guy up, here's where you'll see like for a 1024 by 2024 resolution of this seamless texture, it costs one credit. So if I want all of these, it's gonna cost me six credits in total. Now, these are all the texture files you would need to create a proper looking material in Maya. Another thing is the new industry standard is the use of PBR materials. So these are all PBR materials. Some of you might be asking what PBR stands for. I really thought about that. So if we go to Captain Google and we ask that same question, you can see it's referred to as physical based rendering, creates realistic and real world results when you create do your renders within Maya. I can go back here. I can go look specifically at PBR materials on texture.com by opening up PBR here. And then you'll find a few in here. If you want to go paint, for example, these are like floor styles, it seems. I don't know how this is paint, but it looks like marble flooring and stuff like that. Rocks. You can get cool looking like rock patterns and stuff. If you open this guy up, for example, you'll see all the files. You'll see all the texture files that you would need to download to get a result. So this example that they're showing up here is this texture or material that they've created was just put onto a standard sphere within Maya. And you can see how the texture files and the shader network actually deforms the standard sphere, which is pretty cool. The next website I would recommend is Polygon, double I, I find it funny. Now here you would also need to register with an account and you can go in here into textures and then you can filter down to all the free textures, which I would recommend you doing. And then I would go through and actually download all of these textures. You can see there's two pages of it. And these are also PBR textures. So if I open this guy up, you can see all the texture files that you would need to download for this guy. Now, again, I would download all the different resolutions that they offer so that you have them on your computer. Because if you are designing for like a game, for example, you potentially just use 1K files. And if you want to do a, like a hectic feature film, you're going to go to 6K or even this high res version that they have here. Now, after you've made an account, there will be a little thing in here where you well, when you're logged in, it'll add it to a cart. But because all of them are free, if you do check out, it'll download all the textures in one go, which is pretty cool. And then last but not least, the one that I enjoy the most is Texture Haven. So all the texture files on here are totally free. The way this website makes money is through support from creators. So if I were you and you use this website on the regular, be a good lad and gal and just add a little bit of, give them a little money on the side and so that they can continue doing their great work. And as you can see, it's 100% free and it falls under the total open license. So there's no creative limit of how you allow to use these textures. So you can use them to make feature films that you get paid for, or you can do it for personal projects that you just use for your portfolio. Now I'm going to go into Textures, And as you can see here, they've got a lot of categories and these are also all PBR materials. So let's go find one. Um, I want this mossy rock one. I like that rock one. Let's go that rock. Oh, that's also mossy rock. As you can see here with the texture files to create this rock 
feature has a resolution to cover a three meter by three meter area. So because we're using Maya, this is a very helpful thing to know that if we get the highest resolution in here, we can potentially cover a three by three meter square or surface area. Now, again, you would need to download all the maps so you can just go download all the maps and then you can say how big you want them. Now, again, it's dependent on your project that you're working on or anything that you would submit, for example, as an assessment, for example, or even if you want to create things for your portfolio, 2K would suffice quite significantly. And then if you want to be even fancier for client work, I wouldn't go ab like above 4K. A using an 8K resolution image file is going to really clog up your machine when it comes to rendering because as you can see by downloading all the maps that I need the 2k will be 13 megs the 4k 50 megs in total and then 8k is 202 megs so when I render every time this texture comes into frame Maya needs to load up 202 megabytes into your machine's memory and if you're limited on memory on your computer you would land up either slowing down the render or you'll actually cause your computer to crash because it runs out of memory to keep the operating system up and running so that's something you need to keep in mind now the difference between JPEG and PNG there's no real quality difference just out of habit I normally tend to download PNGs so let's go do this I'm gonna go download the 2k version 33 meg click 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 that there's a little window that pops up I am gonna go put it into this project that we're working on my essentials my training and then I want to plug it into my source images we are currently working in section Seven. As you can see, I've already downloaded some other texture files, which is a gold space sale, which we'll be covering later. I'm just going to go save them all there. My download is done. So if I go bring that window over, you can see there's my Motsi rock. And as soon as I open it up, there are all the texture files I would need to build a shader network to be able to make my spheres and Maya look like this sphere, which is amazing. So I'm just, I'm just gonna close this little zip file down and you'll find this Motsi rock download as part of the download of this project file, as well as the gold space cell. So if I open up this guy, you can see there are six different texture files for us to be able to create a gold space sail. If you've ever seen like any spaceship that's in space or the Apollos and all that stuff, the bodies or the electronics are normally covered in this gold looking foil. This is what this all these materials build at the end of the day. So with that said, I'm going to end this lesson here so that you guys can go crazy and go find all the materials that you would like and play with. The only website that I would recommend just downloading everything and getting it over, getting it over with is the polygon one then you have them all with texture haven and textures.com they actually remember the ones that you've quote unquote bought like here's all the images that i've used my free credits on and there's that space foil i was talking about that we're going to be making in the next video so for this you buy them once you download them and you don't really need to keep all of them on your computer for this one i'll just download them all and keep them in a folder in one of your cloud storage drives so you always have access to them so you don't have to keep coming back and re-downloading them and all that stuff and also with this as well if you download it once on your machine so that if you need to come back and say use the same ground gravel ground one rather than re-downloading it again it's on your machine locally it's just it's time savers because you never know when your, your internet is going to be down and you're going to need your access to your texture files okay so with that said i'm going to end the lesson off here and i shall catch you in the next lesson